Okay, now we're going to look at how to import the Excel data sheets, data sheets that we created into ArcMap by using XY event theme. And this way we can choose uh, latitude and longitude and bring them in as point, point files. So if we go back and look at our uh, Texas Concise or Texas Places, you'll see by opening up that Excel spreadsheet that we have a spreadsheet that has information in here, different attribute information, including latitude and longitude. ArcMap has the ability to read this latitude and longitude in decimal degrees and bring that into ArcMap as point files that will have all this as attribute information. So what we need to do is first make sure that all of our spreadsheets are closed in Excel and go ahead and start up ArcMap. Once we have ArcMap running, we need to do tools, add XY data, and from here we can choose our spreadsheets. So whenever you go into our spreadsheet uh, in our Lab 3 folder, you'll see that you have Texas Places, Texas Concise, which are all good, but so we're going to click on Texas Places first. We need to choose sheet number one. And if we go back and look at our, our spreadsheet, you see this is why we have to close Excel, because Excel and ArcMap can't both be using the spreadsheet at the same time. So we us hit cancel, and then we can go back over and hit OK, and then now we can open it up, or not. Hit cancel here. Let's try this one more time. There we go. If we go back and look at our spreadsheet, and we have different columns here with different names. So you see like unique, EI, uh, unique IDs, uh, state, FIPS, all these different informations, name, state, so forth. Uh, the, the columns that we're interested in is latitude and longitude. So we're going to have to select these two columns here when we're in ArcMap. So I'm going to go ahead and close this again so that ArcMap is able to open it. Go back over here, Tools, Add XY Data, and then here we can choose our spreadsheet. So we're going to choose sheet number one and hit Add. And then here we can choose our different column names. So we have uh, Longitude for the X field and then Latitude for the Y field. Then here under the coordinate system, we should choose a coordinate system. We know that we have a decimal degrees of unprojected longitude latitude. Uh, so we're going to click on here and choose a coordinate system that that will work and which is in this case North American datum 1983 so we're going to choose geographic coordinate system North America and North American datum 1983 a lot of times people say NAD 83 and that's just an acronym for North American datum you can see here there's a whole different uh, a whole bunch of different versions of North American datum these just have different units uh, display units so we're going to choose uh, this one, the, the standard North American data in 1983, add, and you can see here the information about it. So we're going to hit OK, and now we can see under description it says geographic coordinate system and it tells us GSC North American 1983. So whenever we hit OK now, it's going to give us this warning that's going to say that the table that we have put in doesn't have an object ID. What we're going to end up doing is exporting this as a shapefile in order to create not only the shape file but also an object ID so we're going to just hit OK for now that is fine and now we will see all of our place names here for, from Texas places with their uh, with their uh, dots the thing is though is that this right now is not the saved shape file so we need to export this out to make this a shape, saved shape file so we can right click here on the sheet number one event go to data and export data. This export data will allow us to export this out as a shapefile. So I'm going to choose my H drive. And you can see here I have my H drive connected. Choose my Lab 3 folder. And then here I'm going to call this Texas Places. Well, actually, since Texas Places is the census data, I'm going to call it Texas Census Shapefile. So I'm going to save it and OK, and it's going to export that out, and then it's going to ask me, do you want to add exported data to this later? So we're going to say yes. This is going to just save us from having to do add data and choosing that file. So we're going to say yes. That's going to add it in. And then we're going to right click here on the sheet of the old one and just remove it. We don't need it anymore. So now we have the, this saved as a shape file. And if we go back to our folder here, we'll see now that we should have, yes, uh, a shape file saved.
and here you can see Texas Census and the multiple files that exist for the shapefile to, shapefile to be able to be read in ArcMap. Great. So now we're going to do the exact same steps with the USGS data from the uh, Texas Concise. So now I'm going to go over to my tools, just the same steps again, add XY data, go over here into my browsing for folder. I'm going to go up a level to my H drive lab 3 folder and here I'll see my Texas Concise. That's going to be my uh, USGS data and then I'm going to click on sheet 1 again. So add. Again I need to choose longitude for my X field, latitude for my Y field and remember those are just the column headings in the Excel spreadsheet and then I'm going to click on here for the coordinate system. So I'm going to click edit, select, geographic coordinate systems, North America and then I'm going to scroll over to North American data 1983 add. So again you'll see this pop populating this, this information field you hit OK, OK everything looks good and then I hit OK. Of course I'm going to get the same error message because I don't have an object ID field but don't worry I'm going to be exporting it out as a shapefile so that's going to create an object ID field. So I'm just hit OK and then again we have this now the USGS data points. So now I'm going to click on this and then remember again this is not being saved as a shapefile whenever we do this tools uh, add XY data. It's just here stored virtually in the in the arc map uh, document. So what we're going to do is export this out as a shapefile to create some GIS data. So we're going to right click this, choose data, export data, and then again we need to just name it in our lab 3 folder and this time I'm going to call it Texas USGS. TX USGS. And I'm going to hit OK. That's going to export out those features. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to add this maplet to my layer? And I'm going to say yes. And then again, this one here, this virtual one, we don't need anymore. So we're just going to right click it and we're going to remove it. So this is how you add in uh, XY data from Excel into your ArcMap document.